Good morning. Okay. Let me... Okay, so I have some medium weights. For me, that means fives. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bless me. Um, and um, other than that, just have anything close by that you feel like you might need, which is what I always say, but I'll just say it again. Sorry to be boring. Um, and please, please, please listen to your body um, and let me know if I can help you with anything. Sh shoot me an email or a text message or smoke signals, any of those things I, I love. They're my favorite. Um, so we're going to do another one of these fun hit classes which stands for high intensity in interval training. And the high intensity, I'm less concerned with the interval training is just kind of what I really like. This is probably gonna be more like medium intensity. You can take it to whatever level you wanna be in by speeding up your pace or by picking up heavier weights. Um, you, have my, you always have my permission to do that if it's right for you, okay? So I'm just gonna grab my phone so I can see it. And as soon as I press start, we have 10 or 15 seconds to get ready. We don't need any props to start. Starting your 10. Workout. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Five. Okay. Get nice, squats. easy squats. Nice, easy squats. Okay, so the we have 10 seconds in between exercises and 25 seconds. <laughs> to do stuff. Rest. Okay, now it's 15 seconds. Oops, 15 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my fives. We're gonna do another set of these, but with five pound weights. Okay. Exercise. As we squat, we bicep curl. Well, you kind of just hold this bicep position. And as you stand, you push up. Gong. Now we're going to come to our sumo. Wide knees. I'm going to put my weights together right in front of my chest. Exercise. Exercise. So my spine, I'm trying to make it just be like straight up and down. Halfway. Rest. Take a breath. Let's come in, 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 in. Let's go back out, out, out. Another set of sumos. Okay. So sumo press. And if pressing straight up is not right for your parts, you could do a, um, a bicep curl. And that's fine too. Rest. Rest. Come on down. One more. Actually coming out to that sumo position one more time. We have a little bit of heel lifting to do. Weights right in front of the chest. Exercise. Heels. Heels. Nice deep breaths. Try and relax your shoulders and your jaw. Halfway. Heels up, heels down. Rest. Come all the way up. Okay, we're coming down into a plank position. Coming onto my hands and knees. <laughs> hands and knees first. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. Toes curled forward. Exhale, knees up, 
Gently down. Knees up. Gently down. And down. Rest. Uncurl the toes. Come on up to your knees for a minute if you can. These pants slip a lot. I'm going to try not to over focus on this. We're coming back. Exercise. Real plank. Whatever that means to you today, okay? Maybe for you, knees down. You can do just really a great plank from your knees. Squeeze your booty. Belly is in. Rest. Careful down. Take a breath. And now we're going to do one on each side. Okay, so this is even a phenomenal position for a side plank. All right, I'm going to straighten my bottom leg out though. Exercise. I like to bring one foot in front of the other. Nice and long through the spine. Chin in a little bit. Rest. Ooh, my goodness, those are hard. Let's do the other side. It's my pants for the thousandth time already. Okay. Chin in, really reach down and up at the same time with your arms and breathe. We're going to do like a really nice arm set. I'm using my fives. So I just want you to come onto your back, grab your, your uh, medium heavy weights. If you're doing this uh, video in replay, you can always pause for a second and then press play again. But I just wanted to give you a minute, come onto your back, all the way down, knees bent, okay? And then I'm going to press play. Ready, sister? Close you are. Okay. Assuming your top and all work up. Okay, so it's a row. Exercise. Straight up. Two. So this one I'm picking up the pace a little bit because these weights were lighter than what I used last time. Last time I had eights or tens. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Belly button is in. Rest. Okay, now wide elbows and legs up. Knees wide, feet together, belly button is it. Feel free to put your legs down if that's a better choice. Exercise. I'm trying to keep my midsection nice and still. Bring it all down. Take a breath. Straighten the arms up. Soften your elbows. I'm coming back to this like tabletop with a wide knee position. Arms will go out side to side with a soft elbow. It's a chest press. Wide open. So in the last one, it was more of a row. My arms are almost straight here.
chest. Come all the way down. Take a breath. Arms straight up. Last bit is your triceps. Our arms are separate. Plug your shoulders in. Exercise. And. Hit my own phone. Everything's fine. Rest. Okay, come all the way up to sit. All the way up to sit. Grab your weights again. Knees bent. Weights together. Knees are bent. Exercise. Little rotation and a little bit of a lean back. Some of you may be able to go a little further than me. This is an appropriate range of motion for me with my back. Okay, it's a little twist. LA button is in. Rest. And then come on back down. Okay? Leave your weights where underneath your legs or somewhere close by. Bring your hands behind, um, behind your thighs. Belly button is in. Sit back. Exercise. Okay, so use your hands. Push your hands into your thighs and your thighs into your hands. Pull your belly in. Use your belly here and just hold. Maybe get a little lighter with your hands. down. So we just did a little twist. We did a little hold here. We're coming back up again here. When, when, when we start, relax your shoulders. Elbows are wide. Exercise. Okay, come on back where you just were. So you'll either do what you just did or you can add one arm at a time. For me, the challenge is in keeping my spine lifted and keeping my legs up. Okay, and then last one, come onto your back. A little bit of a dead bug type move. Arms up, legs up. Exercise. One arm, opposite leg. One arm, opposite leg. Opposites. to sit. We're coming up to stand all the way up. <clears throat> Work up pause. Quick pause. Come up to stand. I just want you to be able to get all the way up there. I'm taking like a two second drink of water right now because I'm very thirsty. Okay, and we're starting our little cardio bit here. We're going to start with um, jumping rope. So get, go grab your imaginary jump rope, right? Got mine. Exercise. Ooh, keep going. Here. Rest. Next one, shoot the ball. So grab your imaginary volley or basketball. Okay. Ready? Exercise. Grab, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, 
Yep. Now we have our zombie kicks. Zombie kicks. So aim. Exercise. Aim for your ankle, maybe. right by your sides. Grab your weights. Grab your weights. Exercise. One leg back. I have my right leg back. One little bit forward. Let's say like a quarter of the way forward whoop, while you lift your leg. standing knee, arms are straight, lengthen your neck, energize your neck. both sides. Legs forward. Turn your palms forward. Lift your chest. Starting with your left leg. Bend your left knee. Exercise. Bicep, knee up. Reach. Stand tall. And try to keep the chest lifted. Two, lift and open the chest a little bit, palms are forward, knee up, bicep curl again. Exercise. Exercise. <laughs> I love it when someone's just like, do this thing very clearly. I'm like, okay, exercise, great. I can do that. Lift and stand tall. way. Shift your weight into your right leg, arms out to the sides, shoulders are down, belly button is in. A little bit of energy in the arms. Left leg. Exercise. Lift. Lift. So I have my arms out just a little bit to the sides, keeping them there. We're going to switch in a second. Right now. Okay, keep your weights. We are coming back to um, squats, all right? I'm keeping my weights for the first one. They're just gonna be in my arms, regular squats. Exercise.
rest, okay? We're gonna do it again, this time. Arms are gonna press up to the ceiling, and again, if you don't like that, you can almost do a bicep curl, okay? Toes are forward. Start it here. Exercise. equally through my feet. This is the exercise where I feel most, honestly, off-centered. If that's you, try and push up equally with your heels. Rest. Okay, rest for a minute, take a breath. Same exercise, similar to our first squat, we're gonna press up to the ceiling, just like we did, and if you wanna do your bicep curl, you can. All right, I'm gonna start wide. Exercise. Time is a better choice for you, please do that. Knees are wide. Relax your shoulders. Almost there. Rest. All the way up. Okay, we're coming down to our planks. Drop your weights. Come to your hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Curl your toes forward. Exercise. Small lift and lower. breaths. We're going in for a regular plank next. Okay. Exercise. Give the tissue squeeze. Lift your belly, lengthen your neck. Shoulders are away from your ears. down and up at the same time. Reach your head in one direction and your legs in the other. We got this. We got this. Yes. Ooh, my goodness. Side two. Okay, here we go. 
Pull your chin in a little bit. Lengthen your neck. Next, we're, gonna, we're coming down on our backs. Yes. Ooh, come onto your back. I'm just gonna hold on. I'm gonna pause it. Pause for one second. I'm gonna take a quick drink. And then we're coming onto our backs. Grabbing our weights. Again, rows, wide rows, tricep, chest. Okay, so come all, all the way down. Grab your weights. And then I'm going to press play. Resuming your top of workout. Resuming. Feet down for the first part. Elbows close, neck is long. Exercise. Nice, easy rows. Pick up the pace a little bit. Belly button is in, of course. Keeping your midsection nice and still. Yes. All the way down. Okay, so the next bit has the elbows wide. In a moment, we're gonna pick up our legs, knees wide, feet together. Exercise. Wide elbow row. Elbows bend wide as you come down. And my palms are facing forward. Yes. And then come all the way down. Take a breath. Okay, legs are going to come back up where they were. Slight soft elbow in just a moment. Legs are up. Palms Exercise. face each other. It's your chest press, so the arms are a bit more straight for sure. I'm still finding the low belly muscles. We did narrow row, wide, wide row, chest press three. Tricep is next. Tricep. Legs up again. Take breath. Arms up. Exercise. And tap. Weights together or weights apart. Weights apart is a little more challenging, I think. Yes. And then come all the way down. Come on up to sit. Bring your weights with you. Knees bent. Weights together. Elbows wide. Exercise. Little twist. Lean back, come back up again. If you want to take this up a notch, you pick your legs up. Yes. Okay, put the weights down for a minute. Hands behind the thighs. Feet scooch in, elbows are wide, shoulders are down. Exercise. We're holding here. So experiment with holding on tighter to your thighs and then loosening your grip just a little bit. Try to shift back so you feel the work in the midsection. Energize your spine. Sit tall. Squeeze the feet together a little bit. Yes. And then sit. Take a breath. We try it again. This time, one arm reaching at a time. Yes. 
exercise. P.S. Just to let you know, this is pretty much the same exercise with the feet down. So if for some reason this is a better choice for you, please do it. Focus on lengthening through the spine, drawing the abdominals in. Okay, rest, take a breath. Um, come on to your back, dead bug. Exercise. One arm, opposite leg. One arm, opposite leg. The more you extend the leg out fully, the more challenging this gets. So reaching straight out and coming back in is a quite a bit more work. Rest. Come all the way down. Come on up to sit. Just pause for a second. Workout pause. I just have to take another quick drink of water. I'm so thirsty today. All right, come up for cardio. Grab your, <clears throat> grab your um, jump rope. Okay. Ready? Okay. Resuming your talbot on workout. Jump rope. Got mine. Exercise. Where's your basketball or your volleyball? Whatever ball, beach ball. Choose one, we're gonna throw it. Exercise. Just a little hop. Kickers. Tushy kickers. Ready? Fix your pants. Exercise. Grab your weights. Grab your weights. Soften your knees. Step your right leg back. Look forward. Exercise. And one leg up as the upper body leans forward. Soft knees, straight arms. Exercise. 
exercise. Okay, palms out, shift your weight into your right leg, bring the left leg out, wide arms, shoulders down. Exercise. One leg. We're going to switch when it comes. down, heels together, toes apart, hands to your hips, take a breath, relax your shoulders, okay, so technically, done, great workout, technically, we'll 35 minutes, 25 seconds exercising, 35 minutes of interval training, isn't that great, I want to do just a little bit more and then we're going to stretch, lift your heels, and then lower down. Bring your hands behind your head, unless having them by your sides is better. Pull your head back into your hands, elbows are forward. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Heels together if your legs fit together that way. If not, keep them in parallel. Or if you're always like a little bit mad that your knees and your feet, your legs don't fit together, grab your squishy ball and always keep it near you. Whenever we do heels together, toes apart, throw the ball in between your ankles and you will have an answer to your issue, a solved problem. Let's do three more. Heels are lowering and lifting. Two more, head is pulling back. And one more time. Okay. Let's bring the arms down. Come down to the floor, please. Make sure your weights are out of the way. And we're gonna come onto our back. Stretch out those parts a little bit. So first I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left. And I'm bringing my right hand to my right thigh. And I'm just gonna flex my right foot and gently push my right thigh away. Gentle. Um, and breathe. Okay, and now we're gonna bring the legs in this shape in, and I'm gonna hold them behind my left thigh, if you're very flexible, you can bring your hands around to your left shin. Um, and then try and relax your neck and your shoulders the best you can. I still have my right foot flex a little bit. And if this is really uncomfortable for you, just to throw out another option, this is a great place to use like a stretchy band or um, a yoga strap. You can, instead of like, if getting your hand behind your left thigh is challenging or if it just doesn't feel good, but you want the stretch, you can always wrap the yoga band somewhere around your left thigh. And then I'm gonna undo this shape and we'll go right to the other leg for these two. So I'm crossing my left over my right. My um, left foot is a little bit flexed. I'm just gonna gently push this leg away. For me, I feel this stretch right in my hip crease, kind of right where that flexor is, and also into the thigh a little bit.
And then I'm going to bring these legs in. And again, now hands behind my right thigh. I'm flexing my left foot a little bit. Feel free to use the band or the yoga strap or something like that behind your, your thigh to facilitate this stretch. And P.S. I feel this stretch in my left hip and probably like my left IT band, which is the band that, ha that goes all the way down the side of your thigh. That is where I feel this one. Try and relax your neck. Try to breathe into your belly instead of your shoulders. Let's take one more breath here. And then we'll undo that shape. From here, we're going to bring the knees over to one side. I'm coming to the left and I'm doing cactus arms or goalpost arms, whichever one resonates with you more. And then I'm just going to breathe. Give yourself two more exhales, please. And then when you are ready, you can bring your arms by your sides and bring your knees over to the other side. Ooh, my goodness. And breathe. One more big breath. Oh my goodness, that stretch. And then come all the way up to sit. One more. Legs will come out to the sides. Uh, it's just gonna be a stretch for the inner thighs. Actually, why don't you bring your right foot in towards your left thigh. Reach your left fingertips towards your, your foot. And it's just a, a side stretch. I feel this along my right side, but also in my left inner thigh. Inhale, come up. Good. And exhale. One more, a little different. This time, <clears throat> turn towards the leg. Bring your hands on either side of your leg and stretch forward. And then come all the way back up to sit, and let's do the other leg. Pull that left foot into your right thigh. Opposite arm up. Big old stretch. Relax your forehead. <laughs> Inhale, come up. <clears throat> Whenever I'm going through a deep stretch, I like make all these faces. I'm sure I'm not alone there. Inhale, come up. And this one, we are rotating towards the leg, walking the hands forward, slowly releasing the head.
and then come all the way up and last but not least both legs out I kind of like to lift my spine and then lean forward this is kind of cool <clears throat> we used to do this stretch um, like with partners when I was doing my certification feet wide and we would hold on to one another's hands I just happen to have my weights here and I'm just I, I really always I don't want to overstretch some of these little muscles. So this is, I'm gently pulling myself forward. One more deep breath. And then come all the way up to sit. We did it. We did it. Okay. Have an absolutely lovely day. Drink your water. Think about fun things. Have a great day.